ARPG fans ever encountered a problem that for each and every teeny tiny variable in the game handler you have to make a freaking instance in each and every game object today we'll be tackling that problem with the help of making global variables or singletons that is only one instance of it that is single instance exist in the scene at once or not only the scene the whole game it just gets transferred from one scene to another when loading another level with the help of a simple don't destroy on load function you might have heard of singletons before and today i'll be showing you a very easy way by you can make a singleton class that to just one script and have any class being a singleton with just a word singleton and some brackets and the type of class that is so to start off i just have a sample project with a new folder called scripts now let's start by making the singleton script Now let's remove the default code and the system assemblies as we are not using them. Now add two triangular brackets and inside it write T. For those of you who don't know what T is, T is just like another class. You are referring another class in this class. It can be any class. We'll use it further. like when i want to make a class singleton i'll replace its default mono behavior with a singleton and t will be the type of class so here i can write where t is a mono behavior so just get familiar with this t because we'll be using it a lot in this tutorial now let's start in the awake function what we have to do when we are making a singleton we have to make sure that only one game object exists so we'll have an if check and we'll check how many instances exist but first we have to make an instance of itself that is going to be a static instance so let's create a public static instance of the type of the script we have in our case it's t now we'll check if instance already exists or it does not the first priority would be if it's null that we haven't set the instance yet and yes this is set to be private because we don't want any other script except of the singleton script to set the instance of itself now if the instance is null then what we have to do is set the instance to the current script now you might think we can just say instance is equal to this but it wouldn't work because this in our case is singleton not t so for that we'll just use the get component and the type we have to get is t now after we have set the instance we want this instance not to be destroyed so we'll put don't destroy on load and the game object now another condition happens if more than one instance exists and as it is a singleton this shouldn't be the case but if it is will destroy that instance so first let's start by putting a debug dot log that 
Heck, more than one instance found. I'll delete it. And then destroy that game object. And this is basically everything you need to make a singleton class. Now to apply this, of course, we need to apply this in another game object. So let's see how we can do this. So let's start off by creating another game object. I'll create one and call that game handler. And create a script for it. Now let's open our game handler and here what we want to do is replace the mono behavior by the singleton and instead of t we'll write game handler. So now to make a global variable we can easily just make a public variable and call it whatever you like my variable of type let's say string now you can access this my variable in any other class you want you don't even need this using unity engine so we have successfully created another variable that's global now i would end this tutorial here but just for demonstration let's create some other game object and we'll have some script because we aren't actually making a game it's just an empty project let's call this script anything we want now to access it we don't need the game handler instance instead we could just write game handler dot instance dot whatever variable it is let's say my variable We'll just debug dot log it. We'll set the value of my variable. And let's run the game. Okay, so it says object reference, and we got a null reference exception. I'll show sure put the timestamp for the correct one. But let's try tackling this problem. This is because we are calling this in the awake function. And we are also setting the instance in the awake function. So this awake function is called before this awake function. So to solve this, we'll just make this one a start function. Though this mistake wasn't intended, I just did that. Now let's test it. And here we go. We have got that debug.log message. Also, you must be noticing that when I run the game, the game handler goes and don't destroy on load. So it's no longer the part of the seed, but the part of the whole game. So it will never be destroyed until or unless you just quit the program. So that's it. Thanks for watching. 
and if you have any queries please let me know because i know this isn't just another easy thing that was the best way i could implement this if you guys know any easier way to implement this or want any more tutorials on other unity specific topic then let me know in the comment section